Well, good day everybody. This is Joe. I'm down at Tingley Beach in Albuquerque, down by the Rio Grande. This is the last Sunday in April, and that means, yes, you're right, it is Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day, and in recognition of that, I thought we would shoot some pinhole video. Yes, I have a pinhole body cap on my camera here, and I have a couple pinhole cameras to use with one of them loaded with paper negatives and the others loaded with Harman direct positive paper. So this ought to be fun. Stay tuned. So what pinhole camera did you bring? I brought the Loma Graph Lock back and uh, this is a, are you making pinhole video? Pinhole video, <laughs> yes I am. <laughs> I was trying to is there, awesome. is it good? It's not bad, I mean, you know. <laughs> what are you bringing? Oh, this uh, is nice, thing, which yeah. is a 30 millimeter that's super that's wide that's angle. This. And the well, first tests really that I had with it of course, was just a round yeah. image with black all the way around. Right. This but is now, nice handiwork. Now oh, I've got a, a pinhole that's made out of security tag oh, foil. Oh, yeah. Have you ever well, seen? Oh no, yeah. You're taking those little white things apart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. There's like little strips of foil in there. Right. They're really super thin. Super thin. So this is nice woodworking you did. Oh, oh this yeah. Is plywood. Yeah. That's um, nice. This is cherry. In the back, I've got yellow green filter. That oh I yeah! Recently discovered gives for me contrast excellent tonality. Oh nice! So there was a website that I looked oh. up and they had a picture of the Kodak yeah a color chart right without and with and it was just like wow oh yeah doorway a doorway peephole, peephole? yeah because it's thirty millimeters so it's oh, just sort okay. of like so it's, you know, wow. throw it in that direction and thereabouts and, and it works huh yeah nice. and sometimes I put my digital camera on top oh yeah yeah and set it to twenty four oh yeah and you get, get the my same frame. effect yeah. Is that the black cat thing, or it, is that it's something like Harman? It? Harman, okay, yeah. they have their own deal. Yeah, so I like shoot it with the digital camera, look at the right. histogram. Right. If I like the histogram, then I just transfer it to that. So I, what else did you bring? Uh, oh, you did, are those plate holders? Uh, wooden, plate, yeah, yeah. wooden film holders? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1906. Oh, wow, nice. Wow. Very cool. Which I try to keep out of too much. Yes, film. yes, of course. I don't use that as a shutter. I use a right. film holder as a shutter. Wow, very cool. But uh, it just was the perfect size. And I made what's the, this. What's the format size? Show six the back. by nine. Oh, six by nine. So yeah. you have a six, six by nine back. Right. right. Get six it in the sun. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, six by nine. Film oh yeah. Um, it also takes a uh, uh, RB67 back. Oh nice. Because I built this thing. Yeah. To go on the oh, ice maximum. Right, right, right. So you can. So I built do this thing one. thinking, well, gee, I could just make a pinhole. Right, pin. right. So you're shooting paper in that. I'm shooting paper, very and paper sweet. works very well, and I'm getting really good tonality. I like paper. You know. Yeah. 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 Are you and using this... multi grade? Is what you're using? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a bunch yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So this is your magnetically mounted viewfinder. Right. Very uh, cool. It's not real practical. Well, no, it's... Sometimes it falls off. It's yeah. that practical, so it's <laughs> easy to put back on. Well, thank but I you. thought if I wanted to put it in a yeah. you know, case and not have that thing sticking out. So Ethan, what do you have here? Um, this is the, uh, I saw the other Lomograph lock back and a 4x5. Uh, kit that I have. Oh, nice. So you're going to be shooting pinhole four by five Instax. Right? Yeah, I figured it was a uh, good. Don't have to do homework after this type of project for the day. Take some instant pictures and then don't go home and develop them all night. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> Scan them and make a video about them. Well, that's pretty cool. Show, turn around, show us the. I don't know if anybody, everybody's seen the Lomo Graph Lock back, but it's quite a cool thing. What are those Walmart yeah. rubber bands? Artisanally sourced. Artisanally Walmart. sourced uh, rubber, rubber bands. bands. Okay. It's a beautiful day here at Tingley Beach and uh, it's time for me to start shooting some some paper. Oh, Gonna be... you stand over there? Oh um, yeah. Okay. All right, don't move. I'm not moving much. Okay. Or... Oh, come on. Oh. Ethan, how has your pinholing with Fuji been so far? 50-50 if you don't count. Oh, well, less now that I shot one with the dark slide in. But, hey, stand real still, Joe. Taking some blurry pictures today. That's, the, that's what it's all about. Oh, well, let's see the one of Mike. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. Is that how you feel today, Mike? Well, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, so I brought my uh, anteater camera, or whatever we call it here, with the arm sleeve, and of course I forgot to bring a tripod. <laughs> so I have a monopod, which is kind of, you know, teetery, and I have a little, tiny little tabletop tripod for it, and somebody else brought a spare tripod, uh, thank you Rob, but I can't mount the, the mounting plate on this camera. But anyway, so it, it's just another one of those pinhole things. <laughs> just making do with whatever you got. I did bring the kit of the nine wow. film canister pinhole cameras, so I have at least nine shots I can do with this. So I'm gonna work on this right now. I have to go to my uh, pinhole assist light meter app. Okay, so this is F128, 128. ISO 3, make sure I'm not in the chat in the scene. So it looks like 10 seconds. Let's see. I don't want to get too much of the shadow here. So Alright. Alright. So, uh, what did you bring today for Pinhole Day, Constantine? I brought a Oh, the Camera Dactyl 4x5. And you know what's special about it is the guy that made that, or yes. the design did, is right over there. Very cool. Yes. I like your paint job, the way you did that. It's really a nice color scheme. Yeah. You know? this, is, cool. uh, this is milk paint. I decided to give it a little custom paint. I'm going to try some T-Max 100 today. Oh, wow. I have a new aperture in here. Yeah? And I'm hoping that yeah. it'll be a little sharper than right. my last aperture. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll know this evening oh. after I develop. <laughs> yes. After it comes out of the soup, as they say. <laughs> yes. Well, this is a right. janky tripod that Joe's using. It's actually a loner tripod with a monopod. And there's a long sorted story of why I forgot my main tripod this morning. But anyways, I'm hoping to get pictures of the geese without being attacked by the geese. change out the paper which we will do okay the wild geese of the Rio Grande but that'll be fine I got a total of eight of them. I haven't even kept track of how many I've shot so far, but mm -hmm. you know, when I run out, I run out. Right. Rubber banded, just like all good pinhole cameras, right? <laughs> you gotta have a rubber band incorporated. But you got the so. little hooks for them, that's what's nice. Yeah, well that's a that's a well-designed pinhole camera. Body. That's right. The good stuff. So we're going to do a, a filter. Oh, I'm gonna get out of your way then. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. The tension is mounting, folks. As we hold it off, right? yeah. And we go. We're going to do a 12 second exposure. Here I'm making a video of joking. It's a, it's a meta type there of we thing. Go. Well, we're hoping for a great shot. We will post these later. Okay. Okay, so Ethan is doing a self portrait with one of my little film canister cameras. All right, the magic has happened. And then we put it in upside down. Yes. So we know it's been shot. <laughs> That's right, exactly. As seen on jovancleave.youtube.com. <laughs> well, that was it for Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day. It was a lot of fun, especially meeting all the New Mexico film photographers out here at Tingley Beach. I got some processing to do, some paper, and we'll have a little slideshow here but until that next time you guys have a great day stay creative bye bye for now